Well, um, welcome to the, uh, the Cyclops Marine presentation, um, which is being very kindly hosted um, by Mary Pro. And thank you very much to uh, Juan and his team at, at Mary Pro. Um, and I'm here. My name is uh, Tom Pickles. I'm a sales director for Cyclops Marine. Uh, Cyclops Marine is a relatively new company, and we are a technical company, and we are manufacturing wireless load cells which are specific for racing yachts and for cruising sailing yachts as well and uh, hopefully we'll uh, talk you through the the whys and wheres and uh, teach you uh, loads more about us as a company um, and the products that we manufacture as well i always like to start with a uh, bit of a quotation you know knowing knowing your rig load data is the accelerator pedal on winning yachts and that's kind of a you know it's a, it's a nice thing to say and we all kind of walk down the dock we waggle the, the shrouds on the sides of our boats but do we really know um what, what the rig tension is do we really know how that applies to making our boat go fast or whether the tensions on those boat on that boat are, are safe um for what you're uh, trying to uh, get the boat to do reasons for, for rig, rig, rig sensing a boat. We, we have loads of wires on our boats. We've got a forestay, we've got a backstay, we've got vangs, we've got a main sheet, and all of those play with the mast. They, they do different things with the mast. They change the shape of our sails. And by starting to understand um, what, the, what the, the loads are on, on those wires and on those sheets, and we can start to understand what the behavior is with the mast and the sails and how that translates to the power that we have in the rig to optimize our speed through the water and, and help us win races. That's, that's why we go sailing, that's why we go racing. We, we want to win races, we want to be faster than the person next to us and we're trying to produce some technology that can that can help us that can help us do that and keep moving us all in the right direction. So just a, as a very as a very simple part, and this is um, where people start using our products, and it's uh, and hopefully this this diagram shows it nicely for you. You know, force day sag generates a certain shape in your sail, and that leads directly to how powerful your your head sail is and how much it's punching your boat through the water in, in the right direction. So in the left hand picture on your screen. Um, it's quite hard to see, but we have a really straight luff at the front of the sail, really high rig load, lots of tension. And what that does is it flattens off the front of the sail, it opens up the top of the sail, and it, and it, and it depowers the rig. So when we're in strong wind conditions, um, we can have the boat at a nice heel angle, punching forward in the right direction. Whereas on the, the right hand picture, We've got a much more sag um, in the foresail, in the foresail, and that's with a lower tension on the rig. And there's a lot more depth and power in the front of the sail, and that's going to move the boat forwards quicker when there's when there's less air, less less power to to work with, and um, and that's kind of the start of where the numbers come from and, and why you want to know exactly what the the rig tension is um, and the, the load. Um, on, on your force day. Other reasons for, for, for knowing what, what the load is on your boat is um, you, you don't want it breaking, which is, which is a, a fairly sensible thing. Um, so knowing whether you're fatiguing the rig, taking the rig past uh, an overload point, working with um, older kit that you don't necessarily want to, to break. So it's not just a, um, a uh, reason for having um, load sensing on board to do with uh, power and going fast. It's also to make sure you're keeping your rig safe um, and keeping it within its maximum working load so you can maximize the longevity of all the equipment that you have on board. So load sensing itself um, as, a, as a piece of technology um, has been around for 25, 30 years. Um, so load sensing as a as a as a, as a thing as, a, as an item is is not necessarily new and it's it's also not necessarily new in the world of racing um you know you there are 
custom customized components, expensive components that are on board some of the fastest racing machines going around the world, like Hugo Boss, you can see there in the top right hand corner on the TP52 fleet, you can see in the top in the in the bottom left hand corner and super yachts, beautiful classic super yachts like Guitarus. But it's it's amazing technology, but it's not necessary necessarily suited to to a mass a mass market or a bigger market um smaller one one design racing boats and that's that's where cyclops marine has come in and that's where we started our thought process of in order to uh, create boats for the create products for the racing market and for the for the cruising market as well so the sorts of products that we're we've come up with they're suitable from anything from your 15 to 20 foot racing boats uh, racing dinghies like 49ers and Necras and 470s through into racing yachts like Fast 40s and Sunfast 3300s, uh, J99s into cruising fleets uh, with the larger Benetos and, and gunboats and lagoons. So we're, we're creating products that are spanning the whole of the, of the, sail, the sailing market and with load sensing to make the boats fast and to make the boats safe so the products that, that cyclops marine produce we've, we've talked about the why and i'd like to talk to you a little bit about the how we're the how we're doing that and we have two product ranges the first product range is called smart tune the second product range is called smart link smart tune um, is designed around a standard turn screw uh, which we've we've optimized uh, and then we wrap around that 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 turn screw um, an acetal jacket, which contains uh, a load sensor and some other fantastic components to mean that we've created a wire, completely wireless and Bluetooth solution. So it's a unit that can be directly swapped in to replace a turn screw on board. Second range of boats are SmartLink, uses exactly the same technology. So it's a load sensor uh, within a titanium body that then with some very clever electronics creates a Bluetooth signal that can be sent out of the unit uh, and like with the smart tune be picked up by either an application on your phone um, or directly onto a, onto a yacht's instrument. So the smart tune has been designed with yacht rigging in mind, rod rigging, wire rigging. Smart link has been purposely designed with soft lines in mind. So we're covering every type of application on board of the racing yacht or on board of a, a cruising yacht. So talking to you a little bit more about, about Smart Tune, it's available in five different sizes, and that ranges from a 5 16 model through to a 3 quarter inch model with a 5 8 half inch and a 7 16 model uh, in between. Each of the models uh, wraps around the same sort of technology. And when we're talking about the size of the unit, we're not talking about the length or the depth or anything, we're purely talking about the thread size. And it's the interior thread size at the, the top and the bottom of the unit. So if you're looking to change the turn screw that you have on board, um, the measurement is, is the thread size and that means that it's a, a like for like replacement. So the idea of this product is that it's suitable to be installed on new boats and also suitable to be installed as a direct swap out into uh, existing fleets of boats and the boats that you already own. The 7 sixteenths to the 3 quarter inch all have uh, completely the, the same design. Um, they're designed around an acetal body, around a Nitronic 60 uh, manufactured turn screw. On the side of that body, um, you'll be able to see that there is a small battery compartment on both sides. Um, that uses a AAA battery in there, uh, and that gives the, uh, the life of the product of up to six months, which pretty much covers you for an entire sailing season. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be in a, a climate other than the UK, where I am right now, then maybe you get to sail a, um, for, for 12 months of the year, and you might need to change the batteries once a year uh, during, during that use. Buried within the walls of the unit is a, is a very um, sensitive uh, load sensor. We add within that load sensor is um, another little piece of uh, technology which ensures that these products are 
not susceptible to the huge temperature variations that we get when we're sailing as well. So that means that we have a, a product here um, that is accurate to within 1% of the, the maximum working load of the unit. So incredibly fine accuracy um, on the load sensing for your boat. And like I say, it's a straight swap in and swap out. As our range of products at the moment um, goes up to three quarter inch, we tend to find that gives us a, a, a broad range going from 20 feet up to about 55 feet. Beyond 55 feet, um, we do now have a new digital low pin, uh, and that is available starting at around about a 20 millimeter diameter, ranging up as far as you would need to go. Where we've, what we've done with our load pin, which makes it um, unique, um, is we've taken the amplifier, which usually would sit to one side of an analog load pin, and we've buried that within the load pin itself. So it makes it a very sleek unit, a unit that we can factory calibrate, and it makes it very easy and quick to install on board and add into your instrumentation. So just uh, a, a few pictures here of, of products that we've, uh, we've already got installed on customers' boats. Um, you can see there on the, the left-hand side, we have our, our 5 sixteenths um, attached onto uh, the front of a, a J70, if any of you are eagle-eyed eagle enough to spot that. Um, and on the right-hand side, we've got a half-inch attached onto a Sunfast 3300. Um, other locations uh, we've got these installed on boats includes um, above hydraulic backstays, um, on V1s, D1s, um, and, and a few other areas on board as well. But the main place we find people get the most um, data and the most initial um, uh, interaction from our products is to, to use it straight on the force day, finding out how do you um, change from having just a known vi visual eye on what the sale looks like with the four stay sag and transferring that into numbers that you can repeatedly use over and over again. So great on the dock tuning, um, but also we're, we're, we're talking about having live data here. So this is a unit that is um, constantly at one hertz, so once per second telling you exactly what the load is on your on your force day or your back stay or your v1s or whatever else you've you've got installed it where that's so important is it, it now enables you to understand how your rig is performing and how you're changing the load on your force day as a dynamic setting while you're out powering through the waves so just as a as a, a really broad example um, sailing on a uh, 45 foot yacht recently uh, and on the dock, we were measuring the, the force day load at about 450 kilos, um, which is a you know, relatively good tension for a, for a 45 foot racing yacht. As um, soon as we're out sailing, we've got the main pulled up, we've got a little bit of vang pulled on, a small amount of backstay, main sheet cranked on, we're going upwind and it's seven or eight knots. Um, that load immediately jumps up to around about 800 to 850 kilos, which is double the load that we had on the dock. So what's really interesting is, you know, our, our load on the dock is, 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 is not necessarily an, an indication of what our load is when we're, when we're out sailing. You know, your first gear change, gear number one, is, um, you know, eight, 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 eight to nine knots or five to seven knots. And what, what's the load on my force day? And, when the sails set up correctly to your sail manufacturer or your rigger's advice, um, that's now gear number one. You know, we were sailing that boat all, all weekend and towards the end of the weekend, it was 12, 15 knots, 24, 25 knots. And at 24, 25 knots, you know, the backstay pulled on really hard to, to close the, the, um, the front of the sail, make it flatter and uh, help us depower the main as well. And we were finding that the force day tension was increasing to about 1,500 kilos. So now we've gone from 400 kilos in the dock to 800 kilos in light winds to 1.5 tons in, in breezy conditions. And we can start to learn to where the gear changes are on our boats by using these devices on board. 
So that's um, uh, a good summary of our, of our smart tune components. I'd like to talk to you now a little bit more about smart links. As we we're saying earlier on in the uh, in the presentation, our smart link is is our soft line component. So rather than it being attached to um, a force stay or a solid back stay, this is a, a multi-use component with uh, that's designed specifically for soft lines. At the moment, we have uh, five different versions. The one in the very top right-hand corner of your screen is our 20-ton unit, and that's 20 tons of maximum working load. So that's the, anything up to 20 tons is how you're going to use it. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty big boy there, and uh, you know, that's going to be used on, an, on something around about an 80-foot yacht's backstay. Moving down the range, we've got a 10-ton, a 5-ton, and a 2-ton and they all sit within our titanium range of smart link. And then the baby of the group in the, in the bottom left-hand corner of the picture, that's, that's what we call our nano unit. And our nano unit is made out of aluminium and it's absolutely the lightest unit for, for its size and strongest unit any, available anywhere in the world. That unit weighs just 72 grams. Um, now we said that the, the 20 ton unit might be suitable for, a, for an 80 foot sailing yacht. The, uh, the nano in the bottom left-hand corner, you know, we've, we've got people already using those on 470 dinghies, on moths, on nacras, you know, to about, you know, really fast, high-performance dinghies. It's an absolutely perfect product um, for those. Something like a two-ton or a five-ton unit, um, we have loads of people already using them in combination um, with their furlers on their a sails. So when they've got them, um, uh, an ace sail um, attached to the, uh, to the bow or onto the front of a, uh, a spinnaker pole, having the ability to measure the load that I'm pulling on my ace sail before I deploy is absolutely essential to make sure I get the sail manufacturer's advice for the optimum shape um, with, with the load on the front of that sail. And that's a, a fantastic application there. Other places people are using them are within main sheets and tack lines, bob stays, uses are endless. And we're looking forward to people coming back to us and saying, hey, can I, uh, can I use my product here as well? Uh, from a kind of a purely application point of view, it's the same technology we're using with the smart tune. Um, as opposed to the smart tune, which will battery life will last you for six months, with a smart link, the battery life, because we've made the unit as absolutely as small as we can, the battery unit is around about 200, 200 hours. And for that reason, we've put a smart power button on the unit as well. So you can time the unit to have an auto off from anything from 30 seconds up to eight hours so that you can conserve the use of your battery. A little bit like with a smart tune, you know, it's, it's got a battery that's very easy replaceable. In this case, just a CR2032 coin cell battery. A few pictures of where these, these boats, these uh, products are being used. Um, you can see there um, we've got our nano unit um, on the left and the right um, attached into uh, the Vang system of a, of a J70. Um, and the, in the middle of the unit, um, we've got a, attached into the four stay system of a performance boat sailed down in Australia. And in the middle, we've also got it attached to the back stay of a of a Beneteau, so multiple, multiple uses and, and places where these can be, where these can be attached. A little bit on, on how you then see the information. So it's, it's one thing, these wonderful devices um, constantly at, at one hertz, um, spitting out the information as uh, single direction Bluetooth. It's another thing, how, how, how's the information picked up? Well, there's two ways of picking up the information. Um, the first way is uh, through a, a, a downloadable, uh, free to download app on your, on your phone, Smart Fittings Manager. Um, and that will give you the live data as it is streamed out of your smart tune or out of your smart link um, to varying degrees of, of accuracy. You can see it nice, nice and big and big on the screen there in, uh, in, in the picture attached. Also within the app's function is a logging function the nice thing about that, go for a day sailing, see all the data live coming through on your app, but also in the knowledge that when you get in, you can do a debrief in the bar, you can have a look at the CSV file that you can download, 
and you can see how you were performing upwind, how you were changing through the gears, were you doing it correctly, um, compare the data against um, other data that you've taken on board during the day and, and get a real feeling that the, you're getting a maximum amount of your uh, day sail. So to uh, the addition to be able to see the data on an app, we also have our Cyclops gateway. You can see it there in the, in the middle of the screen, a nice little aerial poking up of it. It's a, a component which you're going to screw uh, underneath the deck somewhere, typically on the closest bulkhead to the unit itself. Um, and that's, again, taking the information wirelessly. And then with our um, Cyclops NEMA 2000 lead, um, it can then be plugged into uh, the backbone where you've got all your other instruments plugged into and the data will uh, seamlessly pop up on the uh, on the display of the unit of the um, um, of the units that you're using. The nice thing about that is it's sailing along as long as along as depth, as long as speed over ground, speed over the water, wind direction, you've now got how many kilos or how many tons have I got on the force day. So again, enabling you to change through the gears as you're sailing and monitor the data on your force day or your main sheet, your back stay, et cetera, et cetera. So again, there just, you know, just the electronics that we, uh, that we, we can connect into. So B&G, Enki, Salmon, Garmin, all with the, uh, all with the, uh, the NEMA 2000 cable that we have. few nice pictures there of, of the app. So you can see that with the, the logging function and then also that you can pull up the, the display on your phone, multiple displays. We can, at the moment we can get 16 different sensors on board, which is fantastic to display on the app. And then you can record them in lots and lots of different ways. Um, nicely positioned there's the QR code for the app. If anyone wants to snap onto it and, and pull it up onto their phone um, and yeah, get in contact with us and we can we can start talking about um, how we can help you make your boat go faster with the technology that we have. So anyway, I'd like to bring the uh, bring the presentation to a to a close there. I hope that I've been able to give you a nice insight into what Cyclops Marine is able to do for you. We really look forward to talking to you and telling you loads more about our product in the, the coming days, weeks and months. And I'd just like to, as I started, um, say thank you very much to Mary Pro Sailing for, for hosting this uh, virtual boat show. Um, kind of been a, a bit of a new thing to everybody and I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and, uh, and my thanks to, to Juan and his team for, for making this all possible. Thank you.